Well, if you thought last night was chilly, tonight looks even colder as we advance into the morning hours when our low temperature typically takes place right around sunrise at 7 o'clock. All the 40s across the area. 43 is what our model is actually going with in Flint and the Tri-Cities mid to upper 40s. That might actually be a little conservative and I certainly think all the 50s to even 61 in Harbor Beach don't necessarily buy all of this. We'll be colder than that and it actually looks like some areas up north of Midland uh, such as Gladwin and Houghton Lake could touch the upper 30s, believe it or not. Not something people necessarily want to hear in mid-August, but that's just the facts. It looks like a chilly night for this time of year, but not a bad afternoon tomorrow with low to mid 70s across the area. I think if anything, the middle 70s will be a little bit more common. For tonight, 44 degrees is what we're going with. The record low for the date on Friday morning in Flint is 42, so we'll have to watch that. We'll be pretty close to it. Tomorrow's high up to 75, a nice recovery with mostly sunny skies and light winds. Tomorrow night, not nearly as cool, mid 50s with uh, mostly clear skies in the evening, increasing clouds after midnight as a warm front approaches. And along that warm front, we do have a chance of storms in the forecast on Saturday afternoon. But high temperatures back up to 79 degrees, 62 on Saturday night. On Sunday, right now, it looks like at least our central and northern counties will be dry going with a partly cloudy forecast for the entire NBC 25 viewing area at this point. However, a frontal boundary will stall just to our south, close to the Ohio border. And uh, if that uh, front stays close enough to our southern counties, we could have a couple of thunderstorms still lingering on Sunday. Something we'll keep an eye on, but for now we're going with a dry forecast. Then the shower and storm chances return early next week, last into Wednesday. Temperatures will, uh, will warm up, however, into the 80 degree range and lows will be close to 60. Then it looks like a dry day Thursday with a high all the way up to 84.